Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Baba with 1,319 rating versus No Lazar with 1,174 rating. So it's going to be another new format video and high rated DB video, and we are going to see No Lazar go ahead and decide to go first, 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Map, Rabina, Duality, Terraforming, Toucan. Gotta hate to see it. Nah, I'm playing. I, I don't hate this deck that much. Um, I just hate, like... The Shifter and Harpy's Feather Storm and stuff like that. Then they got Book of Moon, Desires, Nib, Sign of Mining, and Buffer Law. So they're going to start by activating Desires to go Banish and then draw. So Banish 10. See Falco, Will, Roar, Rage. You know, hopefully they play more than one of each of the trap card. Um, I know some people like playing two Roar, especially because, like, you know, turn one, you try to use that to reset itself. They draw Weasel plus Ash Blossom. And then normal summon buffer low, go up in the banelings, and then buffer low one, banelings two, go grab sanctuary, discard weasel, draw jack jaguar and imperm, then sign up mining, discard, go search. That's gonna grab out gazelle, and then they can summon gazelle, and then gazelle dump spinny to try to set up mirage stalio maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. No, okay, yeah, they're gonna dump spinny and then spinny effect to summon. I've actually been trying to pay like very close detail to these lines of salad ever since like two days ago i've been trying to pay really close attention because there's like a lot of different lines you can actually do in this deck but they're gonna go for splash mage and then splash mage to revive the level three and then they can use those two level threes to go up in the mirage stalio and then activate its effect to detach the spinny and go summon and then that's going to bring out the Foxy from the deck. And then use Foxy to make Banelings. Weasel effect. Uh, summon Gazelle to their field. Put back. Draw on the Jack Jaguar. And then go up in the Heat Soul. Heat Soul effect. Pay to draw. Um, okay, so just to clarify. We haven't used Jack Jaguar effect yet. To summon out. Okay, so the next play is just... Link 4, Mirage Stalio Bounce, Link 4, Link 4 goes Search. So we're just never getting value out of the Jack Jaguar this turn. That kind of sucks. Uh, they draw into a, another copy of Nib. Activate Sanctuary, discard Special Out Foxy. Well, I guess we could go... Ah, okay, so instead of going Weasel, what if there's a world where we made Heat Soul, we drew a card, we made Sunlight Wolf, no, I don't, like, do you, I don't even think you have to bounce back, though, I was gonna say, make Sunlight Wolf, Foxy Summon, you can get Sunlight Wolf Effect, add back, you can link away Mirage Stalio, well, you would've summoned Foxy first, and then Foxy, Heat Soul, Sunlight Wolf, and then summon... Jack Jaguar, and then you get Wolf Effect to add back, and you link all that off in the link four, and then you get Mirage Stalio to bounce back Gazelle. So it's pretty much just like the same line, except you get one more back to hand that you probably don't really need. Okay, yeah, and I'm guessing they really do just play one and one on the traps then, since their play here is just going, you know, set imperm, set book. Uh, have Ash, Nib, Heat Soul, Pass, they draw, you know, another Robina there. Heat Soul, draw in the circle, Terraforming, grab Map, then activate Duality. They said, okay, looking at the top three, it's Harpy's Feather Storm, you know, Imperm, Mega Monarch, those aren't really going to be doing a whole bunch there. Um, activate Map, and then Map Effect. Reveal Robin, Banish Eagle, Robin 1, Eagle 2, Grab Back Eagle, Robin go search for Ostrich, then Normal Summon Ostrich, Effect go Banish Spinny, so Banish that, then Normal Eagle, Eagle Effect, Chain Ash Blossom, Set Harpy's Feather Storm, End Phase, Book of Moon on Eagle, so that way they don't have a Wind Wing Beast Monster, so they can't activate this now. Uh, pass Drawing Permanent, I mean, they're just going to end the game. Heat Soul Draw on the Salmon Grade of Fire, Foxy Discard Special, they scoop. They were hoping that maybe they played into Map Effect. Um, but now, next game, 
We're going to see Flounderies go first. We got Toucan, Dreaming Town, Empin, Ostrich, Adventure. They have Salmon Great Roar, Jack Jaguars, Silent Mining, Imperm, and Desires. So, Adventure, Banish, Empin. You know, I mean, the opponent's going to be happy with a start like that because that means their Imperm should be really good. But then we're going to see them grab Map. And it's like, oh, they have a bird to go alongside of this. Map, reveal Toucan, banish Robin, Toucan and Robin. Uh, doing this here means no matter what, no matter where you imperm, Empin's coming out. Because we have two different ways to get to it, and you have one way to stop us. So grab back Robin, grab back Empin, summon out Robin, Robin effect, chain imperm, and then use our regular normal summon on Empin. Empin 1, Toucan 2, grab back Toucan. Go search Unexplored Winds, activate Unexplored Winds effect, a putback token, draw duality, activate duality, you know, thankfully it wasn't Pross, oh my gosh, and duality hits Harpy's Feather Storm. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen. You activate a card that says draw, you draw into duality, and then duality hits the floodgate. They draw a book, and yeah, so they can't activate any monster effects this turn. Well, they can, but they'll all be negated. So, Desires go banish, draw Book of Moon, and draw. Uh, we see one Foxy down. They actually didn't hit, like, anything off that. But also, we're going to see draw a little bit more, too. Uh, maybe not in main decks because of Unchained. Um, but at least in the side decks because, you know, there's going to be a little bit more combo now that Cash isn't around as much. And then also, there's going to be a little bit more Flounderies because of the last YCS results. So, you know, draw can be really good against them. Sometimes they do have Shifter, and that's just Collateral. But now that Desires has resolved, Book of Moon on Empin, Chain Harpy's Feather Storm to win the game. I said sorry defense to Empin, 1000. Normal summon Jack Jaguar. And then they're going to normal summon out Ostrich. Ostrich 1, Robin 2. They're going to banish Adventure and then go for Robin, Robin, and the Eagle. And then Eagle effect. You know, the opponent can't draw to stop this because they're under Harpy's Feather Storm. Otherwise, they could, you know, draw. Well, I guess it wouldn't even work. Because their turn pull, oh, I guess, you know, it's a quick effect, so okay. Well, they're going to grab Mega Monarch then. Tribute, bring out Mega Monarch. I mean, it'd work, but obviously it's not going to under Harpy's Feather Storm. Nothing works under Harpy's Feather Storm. Yep, they're going to scoop. On to game three now. Now we get to see Salad go first again. We got Harpy's Feather Duster, Ghost Reaper, <laughs> Map Adventure Duality. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How is this game going to go? What are we Ghost Reapering? I mean, if we sided this in, I'm already scared for the opponent. Oh, jeez. They got Anti-Spell, Simon Great Rage, Signet Mining, Ash, and Sanctuary. Signet Mining, Discard Rage. They said okay. I mean, there's like almost no point of bluffing that. Because I feel like you would Ash it if you had it and just pray. Otherwise, you're just holding Ash until the very end on the Link 4 probably. Or maybe Mirage Stalia, depending on how it is. Depending on what they have so far in rotation. Because, you know, if they don't have, like... If they didn't start with Salmon Great of Fire and they didn't have Weasel in rotation, then Mirage Stalio brings out Fire in the Weasel. And that's, like, a, you know, strong line of cards. But Salmon Great of Fire in the Gazelle. Make Bailing, Gazelle Effect to Summon. And then Gazelle Effect to Dump. Yeah. Dump Spinny. Spinny Effect to Summon. They don't need to Reaper the Salmon Great Wolf yet. They can wait a tiny bit. Mirage Stalio, Detach Go Summon, you know, I also don't know. Are they going to hit the rank 4? Okay, they're definitely not going after Sunlight Wolf. Otherwise, they would have done it right there. They would never risk the next Bailings. Just because, like, they don't have to go into it. They could just mess up, and then playing bad would then make your Reaper bad. And you're also playing against Salads, so, you know. <laughs> you know, I feel like they... Most Salad players aren't the greatest. This Salad player does seem like they know what they're doing, though, for sure. Now they're going to go up into Link 4, Sanctuary, Reaper. Oh! Also, I like how they played that. You wait until they make the Link 4, and then you just Reaper the other one, because the first one does nothing! Okay, I like that. That's so dumb. <laughs> As a Reaper target for Salad. I mean, it's fair. It's fair, your matchup against Salad probably isn't the best because none of your non-engine is made to hit them. So you may as well have your Reaper just have, like, most random decks in the format. Like, you probably got, like, Salad. You got, like, Vanquish Soul. You got Infernoble. 
you got, you know, you probably have infinite decks. Um, so that way this can hit a bunch of different matchups. They draw evenly. Well, this anti-spell is going to hurt. Evenly is going to allow them to keep anti-spell. They set all spell cards past. They draw buffer low. So they should have game here. At the very worst, if they don't have game, they should be outing a good amount of these cards. And then they still have Ash Blossom. So, Gazelle, Dump Falco, and also if any of the pots stay, the pots have to hit monsters too. So, Dump Falco, Falco, Bounce Back, Gazelle, Special Summon Out, and then go up in the Bailings, Spinny Effect, Summon Out, Jack Jaguar Effect, Return, Special, okay, Link up in the Splash Mage, Splash Mage Effect, Summon Back Out, Falco, and then use those to go in the Update Jammer, Update Jammer, straight up in the access code, and then, you know, effect, gang attack, allow it to attack twice, they can pop three back row, and then go ahead, battle phase, and attack for a game. And they just admit defeat the there. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if they were playing this package or not, because not every saddle list is playing Update Jammer access code, um, which I know sounds crazy, but it makes a little bit more sense when you really look at the deck. It's like, oh, Mirage Stalia locks... Salmon Great of Fire Locks. Um, the Raging Phoenix makes it a lot easier to get damage on the next turn also. Because you'll just have like a huge Raging Phoenix. Um, so like that can help go for a game. So then you, you don't need access code as much either. Um, but yeah, so they are playing it. And it did go for a game there. And again, even if they didn't have game, uh, at, at the very worst, you know... They did play access code, no update jammer. They got like Heat Leo, a back row, access code, and then that can allow them to out, you know, two more back row, and then even pop map if they want to by getting rid of the access code. So there's plenty of pops, plenty of cards getting out of there. Yeah. Well, I guess they would only have two attributes in Grave if that was in there. But yeah, you still have Heat Leo. Yeah, pop the two attributes and access code. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, all right, all right, all right. I calculated it without that. I just forgot about the Heat Leo for a second. But all right. Yeah, with all that being said, Sad wins there. And the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.